Hello everyone, I'm Professor Lee of Dr. Wild Love TV. Today is part 3 of the lecture on top 10 antihypertensive medicinal plant. Last time, part 1 covers the recent diagnosis, treatment guidelines, and non-drug therapy for high blood pressure. In part 2, we started how to use lilac self to heal, flax seed, and olive leaves. In part 3, hibiscus, celery, and pomegranate. Today is part 4. I'm going to introduce you three types of medicinal plants, all have proven clinical effectiveness. Have fun starting and see if there is a plant you like. Let's get started. This is a seventh plant. It is a Chinese specialty tree with only one species per family per genus in the world. It has also spread widely to Korea and Japan. The sap is characterized by gutta percha, a natural latex component. In addition to the effect of improving high blood pressure, anti-obesity, improving symptoms of osteoarthritis, and threatened miscarriage. What's the name of this plant? The scientific name of this plant is Ecoma armoides, and its English name is hardy lava tree. It grows up to 15 meters tall, is grown in large quantities in central and southern China, and after being spread domestically, it was overproduced throughout the country, so young trees can now be purchased cheaply. The bark of the tree is famous for its medicinal properties. However, the leaves also have excellent medicinal properties. The leaves are oval-shaped with pointed tips and have sharp teeth on the edges. Even in early winter, the leaves do not fall and remain green leaves. When you cut branches, leaves, and bark, you get gummy thread. This is gutta percha, the natural latex component of the saps. It is an ingredient mainly contained in trees of the Sapotaceae family that grow in tropical Asia. In temperate regions, Ecoma almoides is the only tree that contains gutta percha. Let's look at the main active ingredient in the leaves. Chlorogenic acid has a vasodilating effect and is also found in coffee beans, tomatoes, and tangerines. Among the iridoid ingredient, genipocytic acid also has blood pressure regulating effect. Asporoside, an ingredient found in noni, and phenylresinol glycoside. Let me tell you about the mechanisms of treating high blood pressure. Although the exact mechanism is not yet known, the mechanisms reported so far are as follows. 1. By increasing arterial natri uretic peptide secretion, vascular smooth muscle relaxation, sodium excretion diuretic effect, beta blocking effect reduce myocardial contraction and heart rate. 2. Inhibit angiotensin converting enzyme, which produce angiotensin 2. 3. Inhibit blood vessel thickening and dilate blood vessels through nitric oxide activation. Let's look at the result of a randomized controlled clinical study. The effect of improving high blood pressure was first reported in China in the 1950s. Since then, there have been very few clinical studies. After six weeks of taking 500 mg or 1 gram of Ecoma extract three times a day, there was no change in blood pressure in the group taking 1.5 gram per day, but in the group taking 3 gram per day, systolic and diastolic blood pressure decreased by an average of 7.5, 3.9. In other words, it's important to take more than 3 gram of extract per day to have an antihypertensive effect, but evidence is still lacking. For about the taste and scent, it has a mild woody and slight sweet scent. The taste is mild, slight sweet, and not bitter, making it easy to drink. If you search the internet, you'll find many capsules, tablets, powders, and tea products. Since the degree of extra concentration varies depending on the product, after get it, take as recommended dose, 
is best to start with the smallest amount. How to take powder or dried leaf tea? 1 teaspoon of powder or 2 gram of dried leaves pour 250 cc of boiling water, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then drink it like tea. The daily dosage is 2 to 4 gram, take twice a day. Traditional decoction teas are very good. Bark harvested in the June to July, leaves harvested in the fall. The leaves have the same effect as the bark and easy to use. There are a lot of thread in the leaves, so eating them can cause digestive problems. Therefore, if you crush the leaves with your hands and rightly fry them in a pan, they'll all disappear. Daily dose is 4 to 30 grams, starting from 10 grams. Boil in 1 liter of water for about 10 to 15 minutes. The steep tea is dark brown in color, but becomes darker when boiled. In traditional medicine, it is mainly used for back pain, osteoporosis, gross promotion, obesity, and high blood pressure. Last talking about side effects how to deal with. 1. If a stomach problem occurs, stop taking the drug for 2-3 to three days and start again with a small amount. 2. Stop the alloys and visit the hospital if it is severe. This is a precautions. 1. Since there is still insufficient safety data, avoid when pregnant or breastfeeding. 2. It is recommended to regularly check blood pressure and blood sugar while taking these medications. In addition to high blood pressure, there are other important clinical effects. Although there are many studies on its pharmacological effects, there are very few controlled clinical studies. 1. Musculoskeletal system, osteoarthritis, anti-inflammatory analgesic action plus inhibition of cartilage destruction enzymes, it has collagen synthesis activation effect. Many clinical studies are currently underway. Two, it has anti-obesity effect by increasing lipolysis and fatty acid oxidation. After 8 weeks of taking 1,500 mg per day, significantly reduced in body weight, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, waist circumference. 3. It has the effect of improving threatened miscarriage. In threatened miscarriage, blood vaginal discharge or vaginal breathing occurs within the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. It's a case in which absolute stability is required as there is a high possibility of spontaneous miscarriage. If pain is accompanied by bleeding, the prognosis is not good. There was a report of reduction in abdominal pain and vaginal breathing in 130 patients of threatened miscarriage. It is convenient and better to use the leaves of a tree rather than bark. Also, the effect is similar to bark. Because it is easy to obtain and inexpensive, it is a very suitable herb for those with musculoskeletal problems and high blood pressure. This is the ace plant. It's the seed of an annual plant in the tribulus family. It grows in tropical and subtropical regions and grows naturally on the beaches of Jeju Island in Korea. The fruit is characterized by sharp protuberance. In addition to the effect of improving high blood pressure, it is famous for improving sexual function in both men and women. What's the name of this plant? This is Trivulus terrestris. English name is Puncture Vine. The leaves are even pinnate compound leaves. It grows up to 1 meter with clipping stems and yellow flowers bloom in summer. The fruit has a hard shell and split into 5 pieces. The seeds are characterized by having sharp protrusions. Let's look at the main active ingredient. 1. Various types of saponins. 2. Flavonoids. 3. Tannin. 4. Alkaloids. Let me tell you about the mechanism of treating high blood pressure. Although the exact mechanism is not yet clearly identified, 1. Dilate blood vessels through nitric oxide activity. It also dilates blood vessels in the genitals. 2. It has a regulating effect on the renin angiotensin aldosterone systems. Let's look at the result of a randomized controlled clinical study. For patients with prehypotension, 6 grams of seed powder per day after taking 2 months, 
systolic and diastolic blood pressure decreased by 7.7 and 5.5. This result was a very significant decrease compared to the control group's blood pressure reduction rate, but evidence is still lacking. It has a slight oval and grayish scent and a bitter and slightly astringent taste. If you search the internet, you'll find many capsules, tablets, powders, and tea products. Since the degree of extract concentration varies depending on the product, after get it, take as recommended dose is best to start with the smallest amount. How to take powder tea? 1 to 2 teaspoon of powder, pour 250 cc of boiling water, leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then drink it like tea. Take twice a day. To make traditional decoction teas, daily dose is 6 to 10 gram, starting from 6 gram, boil in 1 liter of water for 1 hour. In Chinese traditional medicine, it's mainly used for headache, red eyes, mastitis, galactorrhea, itch skin, coronary artery sclerosis. In India, male infertility, erectile dysfunction, decreased libido. Let's talk about side effects, how to deal with. 1. If stomach problem occur, stop taking for 2-3 to three days and start again with a small amount. 2. Allergy, stop and visit the hospital if it is severe. 3. Drogenes, hand tremor, after stopping for 2-3 to three days, start again with a small amount. 4. Consult your doctor when taking anticoagulant, antiparietal agent or hormones. 5. There are reports of priapism, and if it occurs, discontinue it. Precautions 1. Since there is still insufficient safety data, avoid when pregnant or breastfeeding and in children. 2. If you have enlarged prostate, consult your doctor. 3. If you have liver or kidney disease, consult your doctor. In addition to high blood pressure, there are other important clinical effects. 1. Improve female sexual function and libido. 2. Improving erectile dysfunction and increasing male hormones. 3. Improve physical performance and strength. If you have decreased libido or decreased sexual function and high blood pressure, try taking it as a tea. This is the ninth plant. It is the leaf of an annual plant in the Laminaceae family. Distributed in Southeast Asia and tropical regions, the flowers with long stamens look like a cat's whiskers. In addition to the effect of improving high blood pressure, improved diabetes, brain self-protection, and cognitive functions, symptoms of kidney stones and reduced stone size. What's the name of this plant? This is cast whiskers. Java tea is a tea made from the leaves. Scientific name is also siphon aristotus. The shape of the flower with the long stamens really resembles a cat whisker, doesn't it? Let's look at the main active ingredient. 1. Polyphenols such as rosmarinic acid, etc. 2. Also siphonon, methyl riparioclomane A. About the mechanism of treating high blood pressure, 1. Diuretic effect, and 2. Relax blood vessels, increase nitric oxide activity. Let's look at the result of a randomized controlled clinical study for patients with stage 1 hypertension after taking the rib extract for 4 weeks, systolic and diastolic blood pressure was significantly reduced, but evidence is still lacking. It has a fragrant herbal scent with a slightly earthy scent. Tasty is a mild bitter taste and is slightly sweet and smooth, so easy to drink. If you search the internet, you will find many capsules, tablets, powders, and tea products. Since the degree of extract concentration varies depending on the product, after get it, take as recommended dose, it's best to start with the smallest amount. How to take powder tea? 1 to 2 teaspoon of powder, pour 250 cc of boiling water, leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then drink it like tea. Take twice a day. To make traditional decoction teas, 
daily doses 5 gram boil in 1 liter of water for 10 minutes. In traditional medicine in Southeast Asia and Europe, it's used for diuresis, kidney and bladder, urinary tract inflammation, kidney stones, cancer, hepatitis, jaundice, rheumatism, gout, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. In Europe, especially drunk to improve health and physical strength. Let's talk about side effects, how to deal with. 1. Be careful of dehydration and electrolyte loss due to diuretic effect. 2. Lower blood pressure, consult your doctor when taking antihypertensive drugs. 3. Allergies, stop first and visit the hospital if severe. This is a precautions. 1. Pregnant women, breastfeeding, avoid. 2. Console your doctor if you have kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, or electrolyte abnormalities. 3. Console your doctor when taking it for a long time. In addition to high blood pressure, there are other important clinical effects. 1. Anti-diabetic effect. 2. Protect brain cells and improve cognitive functions. 3. In kidney stones patient, reduce symptoms and stone size. This is the end of part 4 lecture. Thank you all for your hard work. In part 5 of the lecture next week, in the diabetes and hyperlipidemia lectures that we've already studied, among the 21 plants introduced, we will start 7 plants that can even improve high blood pressure. They are very important plants because they improve all three conditions, high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. Stay healthy everyone, and see you again.